Hey all, welcome to my dungeon. And um, I normally don't like to review things that I don't own, but with this, I'm making an exception. Now, I'm not a risk adverse person, but I love taking chances on these unknown companies. And the company in question this time is Desawi. Now like Ice River, Desawi came out of nowhere. And I think the first time I heard about this company was actually from a Geek of All Trades live stream because Geek of All Trades is actually headed to Mining Disrupt and there should be a Desawi booth there. But even with that mention in his live stream, nobody really cared about the Desawi company or the Bitcoin miner that they supposedly have. But just like with the KS0, I love taking risks. So I had to reach out to the company. And actually, to my surprise, they replied back. So now, obviously, I'm really motivated to getting one of these things. So I did a little bit more research on Desawi Miner, and let's hop into it. All right, so this is kind of exciting because this is going to be the first time that I'm going to review something and not have to do sort of a how-to with this sort of setup. So let's just jump right into this Desawi Miner. So if you want to, you can go to their website here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to provide this in the description just because I don't know how safe this website really is. This is a new company, so we all need to just take that into account. But looking at it, I mean, it seems like they have two miners so far. Um, they have the Pro and they have the Ultra. It looks like the Pro is doing 170 terahash at uh, 3,800 watts, and the... Ultra is doing that same thing, but at 400 watts less. So I'm, I'm confused at why they're, they're selling two different types here, but maybe the Ultra is going to be more expensive because it's more efficient. And we'll get into the efficiencies later. But yeah, and then they also have this Hydro here where they're talking about ready to launch. So who knows what this will do? Let's check that out. And they don't even show like the efficiency. They're not giving any details on this. So no idea what the Hydro does. Anywho, um, let's just go over and take a look at this one. This is the one that I'm actually interested in. This is the K10 Ultra. I really hope this doesn't break my bank account, um, but my bank account is probably already broken. But looking at this thing, it does 170 terahash at 3,400 watts. That is absolutely insane. And if you look at the efficiency here, this is basically saying that this thing gets um, is doing one terahash per uh, 20 watts, essentially. So it takes 20 watts to do to give it one terahash, which is crazy, um, especially when looking at ASIC minor value here. And we do some just quick calculations that like, let's just look at like the top um, two uh, Bitcoin miners here and not the hydro one, just because it probably would make sense to compare the hydro with their hydro, so hydro to hydro. But let's take a look at this real quick if I can. I got the calculator here. All right, so let's take a look at the efficiency and see what we're what we're doing here. All right, so my bad. So we got this, and we're looking at the um, S19K Pro, and I'm just going to take the wattage. Provided here, I'm going to divide that by 136. So based off of this calculation here, um, it takes 24 watts for one terahash. And if we're looking back at this here, 20. So already way more efficient. Um, and that's just looking at one of the newer uh, S19s, not the J's, but the K. Um, if we look at the XP, which is even more efficient and even more powerful than the S19K, and just do some quick calculation with that. And 140 terahash, 
it's getting eerily close to what the Desawi does, but still not as efficient as the Desawi, which again, just amazes me how all these new companies are coming out and they are just killing Bitmain. So to wrap up, um, they do have this little product um, brochure. Again, you can find this on their website and I think it's also pretty helpful on like what the miner is. Um, they talk about, you know, the power required, the performance of it, um, a little bit of the stuff that I touched on. And again, this is just pretty, pretty powerful thing. And I will likely be spending some money on it and trying to get it hosted somewhere. But yeah, that's, that's the Desiree Miner. And let's hop back into the video. So yeah, I really think that this is going to be a game-changing mining company if they are real. And I will likely buy one because I like to take risks. Now, as I grow my own Bitcoin mining farm, do you think that I should stick with Bitmain or should I go to some of these other unknown companies that are all popping up? Otherwise, press F in the comments to pay respects to my wallet because I'm likely going to buy this thing. And as you know, peace. Thank you.